No stay in Paris would be complete without a visit to one of the city's famous food markets. Rows of stalls packed with seasonable vegetables, delicious meats, cheeses, pastries and wine, French markets are a great way to sample the French lifestyle at its best. In this video, come with me and visit the 7 most interesting food markets in Paris. Bonjour and welcome to Paris Top Tips. We we'll start our visits by the Marché d'Aligre, surely the most famous in Paris. The outdoor market stalls, plus the old covered market that opened on the Place d'Aligre from Tuesday to Sunday, are certainly among the city's most beloved. The true gem here is the covered market called Beauvau. Dedicated to permanent food stalls, it offers an array of butchers, cheesemongers and other vendors selling fish, spices, vegetables, flowers in a beautiful old building built just before the French Revolution. In a recent survey, 54% of French people said that even though they patronize supermarkets, they remain loyal customers of their local market. Markets are very seasonal. During summer, you'll find multiple stalls selling soft fruit, while in the autumn, it will be mushrooms as far as the eye can see. For those who are crowd averse, I recommend going during the week if possible, since the market is often jam packed on weekends. Talking about crowds, our next market may be the most cram full of people in Paris. The Marché Barbès, located on the Metro Line 2 in Barbès, is certainly the most popular market in Paris. And, up to my knowledge, it is the one where you will find the cheapest prices due to its location in one of Paris' less wealthy neighborhoods. It is only open on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So, if you are agoraphobic, stay away from here, as the mob is always dense under the arcades of the aerial metro. But if you want to discover another Paris, popular, lively, cosmopolitan, then come to the Barbès market. Here is to me the most beautiful market in Paris. In this video I recorded just before Christmas 2022. Built in pink brick, crossed by green cast iron arches, the Saint-Quentin market in the 10th arrondissement looks like a village square. Of course, there are all the usual food stalls here but also several small restaurants to eat on the go. And even one of the best ranked restaurants in Paris on TripAdvisor, called Pardi. The 
market is open every day except Mondays from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 1.30 p.m. on Sundays. The Marché Saint-Quentin is a large covered market, ideal when it's raining or cold outside. Here is another covered market, and this one is the oldest in Paris. In the north of the magnificent Marais neighborhood, is hidden the oldest covered market in Paris. Classified as a historical monument, the Marché des Enfants Rouges is a trendy stronghold where you will find excellent merchants, but also where you will nibble, seated at one of the many friendly terraces, fresh produce from around the world, Italian, Lebanese, Japanese, etc. The market is open every day except Mondays, from 8.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., 5 p.m. on Sundays. If you visit Le Marais, following the map that I provided to you in my video on this superb neighborhood, see the link here on the top right, then you'll make a stop at the Marché des Enfants Rouges. Our next market, magnificent, extending along the Avenue de Saxe, offers a particularity, a superb view of the Eiffel Tower. It is located in the very classy 7th arrondissement, on the left bank of the Seine River. Very pleasant, without too many people and with a wide choice, you also have the pleasure of admiring the Iron Lady every time you look up. I found there last week Levis shorts for my daughter Charlotte 40% cheaper than the normal price. And I was also able to test this olive oil gold medal at the French official general agricultural competition. So, if you are in the Eiffel Tower neighborhood on a Thursday or Saturday morning, make your day and come visit the Marché de Saxe-Breteuil. Around its very pretty fontaine on Place Monge, this market is small, but the atmosphere that reigns there is friendly and makes it one of the most charming in Paris.
you can come and wander around the market on Wednesday and Sunday mornings. It opens at 7 a.m., so you can come early if you want for a peaceful experience. But as the morning wears on, the market will get more lively, so you might find you want to stick around for a few hours. notice that the market remains for many French people, especially those of an older generation, a time in the morning to socialize and catch up with their neighbors. And you will always find a cafe near a market to quietly sip your morning coffee once the shopping is done. When the weather is nice in summer, it's such a pleasant experience to walk quietly in the aisles of the market, in the cool, to listen to the sales pitches and to breathe in the smells of fruits and flowers, but also fish and shrimps. Our last market is a bit different. It is not located in Paris, but in Rueil Malmaison, in the western suburbs. But it has been elected in 2022 and 2023 most beautiful market in the Paris region. If you want to get there, you'll have to take the RERA and then a bus. But believe me, it really is an exceptional market.
Don't be surprised to see everyone with a mask. I filmed this video in 2021, and the COVID was still there, making us miserable. The market is open on Tuesday and Saturday mornings. And if you come here, you'll have other things to do. First, Rue Malmaison is a beautiful city, with its center looking like a small village. Then, the Château de la Malmaison, the residence of Napoleon's first wife, Joséphine de Beauharnais, is located in Rue Malmaison. It is a very nice castle and home to a quite interesting Napoleonic museum. I hope you have found this video interesting and that it will make you want to visit one of the markets in Paris. If you liked it, please be nice, hit the blue thumbs up and better yet, subscribe to Paris Top Tips. I still have plenty of videos in store for you. Besides, I always answer all the comments, all the questions. So don't hesitate to tell me below what you think of the markets of Paris or of my video.